How do native English speakers say, I am leaving? I'm off. I'm heading out. We are leaving. We're on our way. Let's hit the road. And ask someone to leave politely, such as, it's getting late. Don't feel you have to stay any longer. To more rudely like, piss off and other such expressions. Hi, I'm Cathy and I'd like to help you improve your English so that it's easier to use and easy to understand. The basic words we say when leaving are bye and goodbye. And of course, native English speakers use other expressions too. I'm off, meaning I'm leaving. And the opposite, I'm on, does not mean I'm arriving. If you've just arrived, you'd say, I'm here. And when we're leaving, we might say, talk to you soon or talk to you later. The words soon or later show you expect to be in contact again. See you soon and see you later are similar to talk to you soon and talk to you later. And today it doesn't matter if you use talk to or see you. It used to be that you'd say talk to you when we're on the phone and see you when we were with the person. Everything's changed with smartphones and social media, so use which you like. Another way to say goodbye is have a good one. This is like saying, I hope what you are doing or do next goes well. You can replace one with what is happening next for the person you're leaving. For example, have a good meal, have a good time shopping, have a good night's sleep, or replace it with a time of day. Have a good day, have a good afternoon, have a good evening. If you are leaving quickly in a rush, then I'm out of here is a good way to signal that you are leaving straight away. You might say, I'm out of here, instead of I'm out of here, as out of shortens to outer. There are ways to say you are leaving that are connected to travel. I'm taking off is like a plane leaving the runway at the start of a trip. I'm heading out means leaving in the same way as a ship heads out to sea away from land. And let's hit the road is about leaving as if you were driving away in a car. One more way of saying you are leaving that I like is until next time. Until next time. Until next time. This is a short way of saying goodbye until the next time we meet up. And I like it because it isn't a forever goodbye. I'm saying we'll be in touch again. The expressions we've looked at are good for everyday use with family and friends and at work with people we know. What about when we don't know people or in formal situations or doing business? With strangers or in formal situations and in business, we can say goodbye politely and professionally in short and easy ways. Nice to have met you. Goodbye. Or simply, thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye is a favourite when you're leaving an online event. Why? Because it's easy to say, it's long enough for people to hear your voice and short enough so that you can say it before the call ends. And we can add more words to make a goodbye more polite. For example, it's been a pleasure to meet you. Goodbye. Or thank you so much, followed by something nice such as for joining us today, for a wonderful evening, for your contribution to the discussions and keep goodbye at the end to signal that you've finished your goodbye message and are going. A very formal way to say goodbye is, I'll take my leave now. And this means I'm giving myself permission to leave now. If you say this, you intend going straight away, so you don't have to add goodbye. There's a similar expression, I'll take your leave now, meaning I'm asking for your permission to leave, but I know you're going to give it to me, so I'm leaving anyway. Seriously, you are probably more likely to hear this in films rather than in everyday or business conversation. If you say you are leaving and leave immediately, you'll most likely appear either odd or rude, or there's an emergency. Socially, you are usually expected to say you will be leaving a little while before you go. Leaving sometime between saying you'll be leaving and leaving is a polite way to show that you really don't want to go, even if you do. If you leave without saying goodbye, you are sneaking off or sloping off 
and neither of these are particularly nice ways to behave. How do you say you'll be leaving soon? When leaving friends, family and work colleagues, you might say, sorry, I need to leave soon. Or, I must be making a move soon. Or, I'm going to be off soon. And you'll sound more polite if you say why. Sorry, I'll need to leave soon as I'm meeting my brother. I must make a move soon as I have a train to catch. I've got to get going as I'm starting to feel tired. How you tell someone to leave depends on the situation. And here are some suggestions of what to say based on the level of politeness. If you need to go now, I understand. Don't feel you have to stay longer. Either of these tactful expressions can be used to politely suggest to a guest or an attendee that they leave soon. And you can always start by blaming something out of your control. For example, how quickly time has gone. If you need to go, I understand. Or it's getting late. Don't feel you have to stay any longer. If someone says either of these expressions to you, it's a big hint as a suggestion. It's time for you to go. As you become factual, you're more direct and less polite, but not impolite. And you can say, you probably need to go now. Or I think you should leave now. It's time for you to go. If you hear someone say, hit the road, Jack, they aren't calling you Jack. This expression comes from the famous song, hit the road, Jack. And they are telling you it's time for you to leave. When you are annoyed, you tend to speak very directly. Go away. Will you go? Get out of here. On your bike. Take a hike shove off. These last three expressions are linked to travel. On your bike is to leave as if you're on your bicycle. Take a hike is like leaving to take a long walk in one direction. And shove off is like when you push a small boat away from the shore or jetty. And finally, you might say, beat it, piss off, F off. These are the shortest ways of saying you want someone to go and the rudest and probably said in anger. Time for one last tip. If you are leaving a party or an event only for a short time and your absence will be noticed, it's polite to say something as you're leaving. So for example, excuse me, I'm just going to go and get a drink. Or sorry, I need to make a quick call. Or I'll be back in a few minutes, I'm going to get some fresh air. If you really don't want to say where you're going, then Excuse me just a moment, I'll be back. The purpose is to let people know that they are important enough to you that you intend to come back. So I'll be off now. If you found this helpful, please like this video, subscribe for more content like this, and let me know your favorite way to say goodbye in English in the comments below. Until next time, goodbye.